Page 143. And many amongst you have fallen prey to weakness, man and woman, as well as children, all of whom you teach weakness, from the cradle onwards, through the false teachings of the false prophets and priests, and other servants or hands slash helpers, of fabulated or invented slash thought up, gods and tin gods, so they cannot take a decision and find a way to recognize the teaching of the laws and recommendations of the primal power or creation, and to understand and follow them. Truly, all your fabulated or invented gods and tin gods, as well as your false prophets and your priests and servants of gods and servants of tin gods, are unable to eliminate or eradicate your faults that you commit and therefore they cannot redeem your culpability which you bring down on yourselves because the redeemers of your culpability and the eliminators or eradicators of your faults are you yourselves and anyone who moves away or leaves their dwelling or their country in order to stand up for or carry further the cause of the truth in freedom and consonance or harmony, without cajoling or proselytizing, and without the weapons of gewalt and of death, but only by using the word and only letting those who hear it, who ask about it, you will find sufficient places of refuge and of fullness on earth amongst those who are thirsting for the truth. However, whoever leaves the house or their country in order to stand up for, or carry further, the teaching of the truth, the teaching of the spirit, the teaching of the life, shall walk on the same way of modesty as the true prophets, and in doing so, make sure that he or she is not done to death by those who persecute and slander or calumniate him or her, and who are out for his or her blood. And if you pass through the land, and do not explain or teach yourselves the teaching of the laws and recommendations of the wellspring of all existence or creation, or curtail the explanation or teaching, then it shall be rightful for you if you nonetheless hold to and follow the laws and recommendations. If you are afraid that ones who are unknowing of the truth may assail you because they stand up as open enemies against the truth and against you, then you shall not acquire or buy slash procure weapons of gewalt and of death in order to fight against them whenever possible. Instead, try to find a peaceful way of avoiding them or using words of clarity or rationality to move them to insight or rationality and to peace. And if you as ones who have knowledge of the truth find yourselves amongst ones who have no knowledge of the truth and have to undertake a deed or work or whatever else with them, then allow them to stand with you or undertake it together slash cooperate. But take care that they do not raise up or make threats with weapons of villainy or disingenuousness against you and against the truth teaching in order to cast you down or coerce you into their belief or assumptions. And if they attempt to carry out your casting down, then put them behind you or turn your back on them and go away. But you shall be on your guard or watchful because their weapons of villainy or disingenuousness can strike you again and again at any time in order to demoralize you. The enemies of the truth, and the enemies of the teaching of the prophets, and therefore also the enemies of the truth teaching of the laws and recommendations of the primal wellspring of all things and all life, or creation, by which it is meant the confused people and its false prophets and priests and servants of gods and servants of tin gods, who make their adorers into like-minded ones and believers. They like it if you do not provide yourselves with weapons of precaution and of clear-sightedness or rationality, and leave aside all your watchfulness 
so that they can suddenly assail you or lead you into confusion. Take away, or pervert, your knowledge of the truth. Against all enemies, against the enemies of the truth, it is permitted and rightful for you to take their weapons of villainy or disingenuousness away from them through true discernment or rationality by striking back or countering their false words and teachings so that they wash themselves clean and heal themselves of their illness or false belief and lay down their weapons of villainy or disingenuousness and slander or calumny against the truth teaching but at all times be on your guard or watchful because the intrigues or guilefulness of those who declaim against the truth and the true teaching of the truth and the teaching of the laws and recommendations of the creation are manifold in their attempts to delude the ones who have knowledge of the truth and to turn them away from their insight into the truth teaching so that they shall fall prey to the traps of the godliness or religion and of the belief or assumptions as well as of the priests and servants of gods and servants of tin gods because truly they have disparaging or villainous slash despicable methods in order to achieve their intentions or purposes. And if you are learning the teaching of the prophets, the teaching of the truth, the teaching of the spirit, the teaching of the life, and therefore the teaching of the laws and recommendations of the wellspring of the beauty or creation, then remember with a prayer or invocation slash edification also your inner world or consciousness in contemplation or meditation at the same time so that you align yourselves towards true love and consonance or harmony as well as to peace and freedom in your inner nature and do this when seated or standing when walking or when you are on your back on your belly or lying on your side and when you have finished learning then make prayers or invocations slash edification to your inner world or consciousness according to your need so that its unfolding or evolution may progress and everything may go well with you in all things. And carry out your prayers or invocations slash edification according to your needs since you do not have to select specific hours for this as you shall do for special contemplations or meditations or initiations and never cease to search for the depths of the truth and the laws and recommendations of the primal wellspring of all truth or creation because if you do not do so then you will suffer and your inner world or consciousness will remain unfruitful or remain fallow and as you suffer so also people of your kind or fellow human beings with whom you have dealings will also suffer. However, do not hope for things of cognition which you cannot hope for or shall not experience. Because if you were to gain cognitions that are beyond your discernment or understanding, then you would not become knowing or conscious and wise, but would fall prey to confusions or consciousness confusion slash sense confusions. The true prophets have brought the teaching of the truth, the teaching of the spirit, the teaching of the life to you, the teaching of the laws and recommendations of the wellspring of all existence or creation and its appearance or nature so that you do not decide or determine and fight unfairly between people of your kind or human beings but that you join yourselves with or fall in line with the laws and recommendations as are given to you through the teaching of the prophets so that you do not secede from the truth and do not become proponents of the ones who are unfaithful to the truth teaching and think about the true prophets from the line of Nocodemian they did not come to earth to one people alone but brought the teaching of the truth the teaching of the spirit the teaching of the life to all peoples of your kind or humankind all of humanity 
so that everyone may experience the truth of the wellspring of the existence or creation, and everyone may direct themselves according to its laws and recommendations. However, you have allowed that false prophets amongst you could bring delusional teachings, and that you were able to fall prey to these, therefore you were disloyal to the way of the real truth, and turned to gods and tin gods, and their priests and other servants, or hands slash helpers, so that you could pray to them. And your scribes, who were entrusted by the prophets with upholding the teaching by setting it down in writing, they falsified and slandered, or calumniated, the teaching of the true prophets, and obfuscated it, or rendered it unrecognizable, in such a wise that only a few grains of real truth are contained in it. Truly, the fallible scribes who falsified, slandered, or calumniated, and obfuscated, or rendered unrecognizable, the teaching of the prophets, shall be excused in spite of their disgraceful doings, because they fell prey to an erroneous assumption when they falsified, slandered, or calumniated, and obfuscated, or rendered unrecognizable, the truth teaching in their writings due to false insight or understanding. But there were some amongst the scribes who falsified, slandered, or calumniated, and obfuscated, or rendered unrecognizable, the teaching of the true prophets deliberately, because it is directed against their own belief or assumptions in gods and in gods. Truly, you do not love any people of your kind or fellow human beings who are villains and unfair ones or irresponsible ones, but ask yourselves whether you are not yourselves also villains and unfair ones or irresponsible ones, so that you do not defend yourselves if you deceive yourselves. Truly, you would like to conceal your maliciousness and inequity or unfairness from people of your kind or fellow human beings, but you cannot keep it concealed because you again and again forge intrigues or guilefulness openly or in secret, and do evil and unfair things, or irresponsible things, of all kinds. However, all your deeds are seen through and are not approved. See, you defend your maliciousness and your inequity or unfairness, and unrighteousness or conscienselessness, your virtuelessness and your drunkenness or desire, and bad habits or vice, but you can never vindicate or defend them. Therefore you will find no advocates and no protectors amongst the righteous ones or conscientious ones and fair ones or responsible ones of your kind or fellow human beings. When you do evil or unfair things or irresponsible things against people of your kind or fellow human beings or against yourselves, against your inner nature, or against your body or limbs, or extremities, against life, the inner world, or consciousness, or the psyche, whether it be gewaltsamkeit, or torture, or defilement, or injury, or killing, then you are breaching the laws and recommendations of the wellspring of all love, or creation. Therefore you will not find any calm or any peace or any freedom and consonance or harmony in yourselves because you cannot bring forth any benevolence or any forbearance for yourselves and so you cannot forgive yourselves for your ausgeartet doings. And whoever commits an unright, that human being only commits it against himself or herself, even if others are harmed thereby. Because committing unright against other human beings gives rise to harm in one's inner nature, and in addition, it weighs on the admonishment or conscience sooner or later. And as you commit unright against the true prophets, so you take a decision that casts yourselves into ruin. But consider 
that you cannot do any harm to the true prophets, even if you slander or calumniate them and their teaching, if you stalk them and try to kill them, because also the true prophets know very well how to protect themselves according to the laws and recommendations of the wellspring of the true love or creation. Even before you, the prophets brought their teaching of the truth, their teaching of the spirit, their teaching of the light to you, and taught your forefathers and foremothers, or ancestors slash forebears, everything that these did not know about all the knowledge and all the wisdom. And you also do not know it, because like those before you who neglected the teaching and kind-heartedness of the prophets, so you also neglect their great kind-heartedness and the teaching because you plot or conspire in secret talks against the truth teaching and the true prophets, together with the priests and other servants, or hands slash helpers, of your fabulated or invented and unsubstantial or imaginary gods and tin gods. Truly, you do not conduct open talks on beneficence or kind-heartedness and bringing about peace in order to admonish the people of your kind or human beings. When you come together in talks, it is only in striving for your own pleasure and to stir one another up for battles or wars and to bring down punishments of death and acts of gewalt or torture on people of your kind or fellow human beings out of hatred and revenge and retaliation for which you fallaciously be believe that a magnificent reward will be granted to you. But you are deluding yourselves vastly, because all your doings are of evil and against all laws and recommendations of the primal power or creation, as have always been taught to you by the true prophets since time immemorial. Whoever amongst you sets themselves against the teaching of the truth, the teaching of the spirit, the teaching of the life, despite the fact that the right way to true existence has become clear to them, but nevertheless they follow a different way from that of the truth, they will have to follow a very difficult way, because they will cast themselves into a self-created shadow world, or hell, as their own determination or decision, and burn in its fire and the way back to the truth will be seven times worse for them than at the time when they first found their way to the truth. One day, your distant descendants will not be able to forgive you for showing contempt to and slandering or calumniate the teaching of the true of the prophets and the prophets themselves and being out for their blood, and therefore your distant descendants or grandchildren, etc., will not be able to forgive you because you are leading them into delusion and far from the truth with your false teachings, your false prophets, and your priests and other servants of gods and servants of tin gods, because your false teachings reach, or extend, slash, carry themselves forwards, into the farthest future and create delusion, or influence, there, for your belief of your godliness or religion, because you do not follow the teaching of the laws and recommendations of the wellspring of all life or creation, but waste away far from it and set unsubstantial or imaginary gods and tin gods at the side of the wellspring of all life or creation. Truly, whoever sets fabulated or invented gods or tin gods, or fabulated or invented representatives or substitutes, or others, at the side of the primal wellspring of all wisdom, or creation, is indeed going very far into delusion, and truly there are no gods or tin gods who could be creators or originators of the firmaments or universe, and of the earths or worlds slash planets, and the heavenly lights or celestial bodies slash comets slash planets slash moons, slash meteors, slash shooting stars, slash nebula. Because the creation of all things, in all firmaments, 
or in the universe, and on all Earths or worlds slash planets, is solely due to the primal wellspring of all wisdom, or creation, because truly it alone is the creative power, or energy, of all things, and the unmeasurable secret. Those amongst you who have fallen prey to a belief, or assumptions, in your priests and other servants, or hands slash helpers, of godly godliness or religion, and who make prayers or invocations slash edification to gods and tin gods, truly you are only calling on lifeless and unsubstantial things, or imaginary slash non-existent things, and are thereby cursing the truth of the creation. So you are of evil and indignant ones against the truth and against the laws and recommendations of the creation. And those amongst you who call on unsubstantial or imaginary gods and tin gods, you are cursing yourselves, and truly you are servants, or hands slash helpers, of your own suffering, which strikes you at all times through your own irrationality. Lend your ear to the true prophets and to their teaching, because truly it is they alone who do not lead you into confusion, who do not lead you into hatred and battle or war, neither to revenge and retribution, and nor to punishment that is meted out with gewalt or to killing. And it is only the true prophets who bring you the teaching of the truth, of the love and harmony, of the freedom and peace, and who do not stir up vain wishes in you, and do not goad you into blindness or fanaticism, through which you kill your life or commit suicide, in order to kill many others or murderous attacks, because you are led into confusion by blind belief and have fallen prey to a hazy picture or delusion. Truly, you shall not cut off the ears of animals, or not torment any animals, and not deface or destroy anything that is given by the wellspring of all wisdom or creation in the firmaments or universe, and on earths or worlds slash planets. And anyone who does so, nonetheless, stands in friendship with evil, and wreaks evident loss all around to what has been given by the wellspring of all wisdom or creation, to all life for joy and for benefit or prosperity, and for the preservation of existence.